How do you do? You may have become aware of a frightening new trend, which was once outlawed, but is now back on the scene. We will call it the herg, or herging. Now there is no need to feel intimidated by this exciting new development in personal contact, as we have prepared this fascinating instructional broadcast to assist you. This is a scientist. The herg is commonly used as a method to greet someone, perhaps a colleague or a friendly bin man. The herg is executed by opening your arms like so and wrapping them around your intended target for no more than two seconds. Anything longer than two seconds in polite society constitutes a proposal of marriage and is legally binding. It seems simple, doesn't it? However, you need to stop and think. You can't simply stroll up to a chap willy-nilly and start throwing your arms around them without even a how do you do? This could lead you into a very tricky situation. Let us look at example A. This chap instantly arouses suspicion. He clearly bears an intimidating moustache and an evil glint in his eyes. However, I may be in need of a herg, and I'm considering embracing him. Stop. Think. The scoundrel will clearly reject my friendly advances, and upon noticing my higher social standing, will take the opportunity to relieve me of my wallet. So I will not bestow a herg upon him. Example B. Now imagine that this is a young lady who I have been wooing for several months. We are most certainly friends, but I am looking to perhaps court her in anticipation of a future marriage proposal. Surely a herg here would be appropriate. Stop. Think. The young lady may not read your very obvious intentions as you approach to give her the gift of a herg. She may very well still believe in tapping elbows together as a greeting. This could lead into a very sticky situation. Allow me to demonstrate. So as you can see, the herg is very exciting, yet potentially dangerous activity, but it can be enjoyed by all who stop and think. Goodbye.